Do I think AR will replace web designer and web developer jobs? So this is actually a question I've been getting a lot and I'm excited to get into it. Most videos talk about how AI and ChatGPT in general will speed up productivity and basically that it will just help developers and designers get more done. But I think that's the wrong conclusion here. Stop thinking like an employee and think like a business owner. If a tool will help me save development time, that doesn't only mean developers can get more done. It also means that as a business owner, I don't need to hire 10 developers because eight developers will work just as good. I know this might sound controversial, but let me give you a few examples. Interior decorating. Imagine taking a picture of your room, uploading it to an AR tool and seeing 20 results in different styles on how to decorate it. That's what the tool Interior AR does. Now let's take this a step further and say that the AR shows you where to buy all the products. Then it shows you the amounts and you just say buy and it does all the rest with pre-populated data. This will replace a lot of what an interior decorator does. So are they redundant? No, it simply means that this AR will reduce their demand as the supply is easier, quicker, better and much cheaper. Architects. Imagine an AR where I take a picture of this plot of land, tell it my budget, that I want a modern three bedroom home, and then it provides me with 10 different designs in 10 minutes. Rather than an architecture firm hiring 100 architects, they can now hire 50. You get the point here. And the same applies to paralegals for law firms, copywriters for marketing agencies and other industries. At the core of what we are talking about is technology. Look at how technology has revolutionized factories, farming, education, logistics, and so much more. So my short answer on this question of do I think AI will replace web design and developer jobs? Yes, I think AI and ChatGPT will replace a lot of jobs, like in these examples I mentioned, but not all of them, of course. And I think that new jobs will also be created that we've not even thought of yet. Now, if you're still with me and haven't clicked the dislike button, I'd like to discuss why I'm excited about this tool as a freelancer and business owner. So here's what I like about ChatGPT in particular. Think of it like a second brain. You basically get more creativity to brainstorm and strategize ideas. It's a tool to help you create content, a tool to help you optimize your business, a tool to help you automate how you do it. I'm not going to go into detail as there are a lot of videos covering this topic and how it works, but I like the fact ChatGPT will ultimately help you write newsletters, write tweets, write SEO tags, write code boilerplates and help with web design. My conclusion is we can only speculate here and not speak from experience because this is new to all of us as a society. There are a lot of strong opinions on this topic from various people, but it's just that, opinions and theories. Only time will tell how it unfolds and what happens the next 10 plus years. But I do have a few suggestions as a layman on this topic. Freelancing is still a great opportunity and the doors that open from there can lead to amazing things. Build a personal brand and you won't be surprised with all the opportunities that come your way. Niche down, be known in an industry. And finally, adapt. Read the book, Who Moved My Cheese? Fantastic book on this topic. Either way, we need a new mindset and attitude. Don't be left behind wanting to ride horses while everyone is driving cars or AR self-driving cars for that matter. That's it from me. I hope you found this video helpful. What do you think about AR and ChatGPT? Let me know in the comments.